What's up guys? Thank you very much for clicking on this video. I wanted to tell you guys a couple of things before we actually get started on this travel vlog. I just wanted to say it was really cool being able to see Otto in New York, her first stop in America, and then also seeing her in Chicago. I have a lot of thoughts on that I'm going to be sharing at the end of this video and just the differences in her performance from the first to the second concert that we saw. I wanted to say thank you to everybody that came up to me in the lines at the concert saying hello, telling me that you watch my channel. That is freaking awesome. And thank you again very much to everybody that let us interview you on this. I understand that that can be very uncomfortable sometimes, but you guys crushed it. And I thank y'all very much for giving me your thoughts before and after these concerts. This was so much fun. And honestly, auto concerts and the crowd were so freaking cool. I hope you guys enjoy this. If y'all are down for reaction videos and also other travel vlogs, that's all my channel does. If you guys are interested in that, smash that sub button and let's do this. We're heading to Otto! So we go to Otto, yes, let's go. Dude. So we're going from Boston right now, and you're coming back to PAX uh, tomorrow. Too, yeah, right? tomorrow. Dude, all over the place, <laughs> That's man. That's fun driving here very right <laughs> early in the morning. Yes. So we're heading to New York right now, man. It's going to be fun. Thanks, Ross. Okay, just checked into the Hilton here in New York, and I have a beautiful view of, I don't really know what that is. I don't really know what that is. Does this not kind of remind somebody of like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles would be here? So you know what? I'm cool with it. I like this view. This is actually a beautiful view. So it's New York, and it's raining, and me and Legions are heading up freaking ramen shop and then the auto concert and actually this you I said it's like really close to the to the venue right next to the ramen place yes yeah. all right hell yeah dude so all right when did you first hear auto one piece film rep same hence the one piece shirt dude yes <laughs> and then underneath <laughs> that yes. i don't know what language that was but uh and then under your freaking hoodie you've got a tokyo ghoul shirt on which is pretty legit Boom! TK. Unravel. Okay, yeah, we yeah. do. What song are you looking forward to the most? I don't know. Like, I definitely either Unravel and then now, what is it called? Value? Is that what the Value, name is? Yeah, her new single. It's so good. Value's so good. And we've been hearing it a lot. So it's in my We've listened to it like 20 times on the way. So hopefully she plays that. But Unravel, dude. And then also Top Music Up. Top Music yeah, yeah, I can't wait for that. It's going to be sick. So, oh yeah, man. And you've done a couple of freaking huge reactions to some of her music. So if you guys are watching this and you haven't seen Legions, definitely check it out. Oh yeah, thank you. So we're going to a ramen shop. You got the chicken ramen? I got the chicken. Chicken ramen! Alright, so this place was delicious. And then guess what? It's not freaking raining now. Nothing like some ramen to make it not rain anymore. But I was delicious. I'm full. Hotel actually just taught me a really good lesson. Back here, there's like people that will take pictures with you, but they charge you to take pictures I'm with them. charge you five dollars. <laughs> and and it just is like, listen, you're in the video, you my like this. So yeah, if you come to New York, do not take pictures with these people. Unless you want to give them money. If you want to give them money, take pictures with them. But yeah, if you don't, don't do that. Concert, no way, this is your first concert? Yeah. Oh, Dad of the Year. Dad of the Year, that's awesome, man. Do you remember 
your first time ever hearing her? Did your daughter introduce you to her? Yeah. Or did you like, yeah. yep. I hang in her room and she hey, plays yeah. music and on the way to school when I drive her to school, yes. we listen to it. So. There you go, man. Yeah. Very cool. Well, I'm excited for you to witness yeah. the concert and I'm excited for your daughter. Thanks. Okay, it's dad of the year. Appreciate it. You're awesome, man. Thank you. So I'm originally from Korea, but I'm, oh, no way. I'm currently stationed in the U.S. and all yeah. that. But a lot of my friends saw him yeah. auto in Korea, so I'm very excited for this opportunity. Oh, they saw auto in Korea? Already? Yep. Oh, so, what do they think? What do they think? Excellent. Yes. Excellent. And yes. then, where are you from here in the States? Like, where, where state do you okay. come from? Came from Boston. Boston? That's <laughs> actually where we just came from. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah we were at PAX East and then we drove up here for. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I took, I took the train now. Oh, there you go. There you go. This is a good I didn't way to go. I didn't expect it to be this rainy, to be honest. <laughs> that's safe, that's safe. Do you remember where you first heard about Audit? I just happened to be It was October when she released her first song, Usewa. Oh, yes. So I. I'm big into Japanese music. I feel ya, I feel ya. I'm always in following the Japanese music scene, so it was a very big shock to yeah. the industry as a whole. That's I, when I yes. first heard about it from a lot of the Japanese YouTubers yeah. that I watch. Oh, nice. so, very cool. And she spread around on the yeah. internet like wildfire. So, yep, exactly. Yeah. Do you have a song that you're excited to hear? That might be a hard question. I know, it's a hard question. I, it would be really nice if I heard um, Sekaino Suzuku. Oh, yes! But knowing that this is her first tour, I'm expecting her to sing a lot of her very energetic, upbeat songs. So it's gotta be Utaka da Rarabai. Yeah, okay. Or yeah. it's gotta be um, Gyakko. Ah, uh, yes, yes. But I, I mean, I feel like she would play something like Show. Show, and definitely. Show. Yeah. And she would play Usela, obviously. Yeah. Yes, so, okay. We know, who knows? We'll yeah. see. How's it going? So this is Otto's first concert in the States. Where did you come from? I come from Boston. Boston? Yeah. YouTube? Yeah? <laughs> no, you're cool. Yeah. Heck yeah. How did you first hear about Otto? In a game called Project Sekai. Oh, no way! Yeah. Yes! I, I loved the, her song, yeah. Usaiwa. So yes, I looked it up here. on YouTube and I just fell in love with yeah. her and her music. And really yeah. Like, yeah. That is probably the coolest answer that we've had so far. I love that. A lot of people are like one piece and just different stuff, but that's yeah. amazing. Heck yes. Do you have a song that you're excited to hear from her? Honestly, I'm excited to hear one piece song that she has sung, and it's obviously. Nice. That's Heck one yeah. of the first songs. An auto tattoo, dude. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, so where did you first hear about auto? Uh, first heard about her through a VTuber cover of Usewa. And Who is it? Who is it? Uh, uh, Rainy Rainy? Okay, yes. Yep. yes. I oh. saw Rainy and I'm like, wow, that's really good. I should yeah. just check out the original. Let's check the source code. And that was, that was yes. it. Yes. Heck yes, man. So, where are you coming from? Uh, yeah. Buffalo, New York. No way. There you mm -hmm. go. First from Buffalo, New York that I've met so far. Oh, perfect. Yes. All right. Do you, have a, do you have a song that you're excited to hear? Yes. I want to hear Ready Man. Ready? I heard it nice. once over at Budokan, and I need to hear it again. You went to Budokan? I did. Day, oh, day one. Wow. So that's going to, hopefully you'll be able to hear me yell. Oh in, my uh, god, yes. DVD. I love that. That is awesome. Yeah. And then, okay, so if Otto does see this, do you have anything that you would like to say to Otto? Thank you so much for your music. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. Dude, again, it was a pleasure to meet yeah, you, and I love your tattoo. Too. Thank you so much. That was freaking insanely awesome. And on top of that, they just did like a last song. It's like six last songs on It's freaking amazing. That was an awesome concert. She's just as good live, seriously, as recording. If not better, she crushed it. And the band was amazing. The bass player was freaking awesome. The drummer was awesome. They crushed it. There's so many people here too. Love you. Did you like your concert? Yes. I can't feel my phone won't be. I, I love you. I love you so much. You are such an inspiration to me. I love you. It was amazing. I think that was probably my favorite because yeah. her, her screams. Yeah. Oh my god. That was amazing. Oh my god. She absolutely killed it. It was awesome. Incredible. I almost cried. Oh yeah. <laughs> same. Same here. <laughs> How far did you drive? Did you drive or fly in? I took the train. 11 hours. Oh my gosh. 11 hours is awesome. Yeah. 11 hours just for Adolf and it was all Worked it. Yes. Oh, wow. 
We are going to head from here to the airport. Um, I'm gonna train. It was kind of like I should Uber it. And then I looked from downtown to JFK. The Uber cost about $100. And I was like, nah, it's a whole hotel stay in Chicago for me. So gonna get on the train station. So I'm going to Penn Station, gonna train from there, gonna go to the airwalk. And then from there, I'm going to be on a plane back to Nashville. And so we're spending the night back in Nashville at my house, gonna hang out with the family. And then waking up Monday morning and flying to Chicago. And then gonna see Otto again in Chicago and then flying back on Tuesday back to Nashville. Let's do this. New York, Penn Station. I'm stoked. Okay, so if you do plan on taking the air train or any of the types of trains right here, they all accept contactless payment. So you just have your credit card or your debit card that has the little touch thing on it. So this uh, air train was about $8.50 for this one. Um, and then the actual train to get to you from Manhattan to Jamaica, which is this station, is about $6. So really not that expensive at all to get here, as opposed to $130, way cheaper. So anyways, we were just trying to get from Manhattan to the airport, way cheaper to do it that way. It took me about the same amount of time with traffic and everything, so it's cool, worth it. Also, like a little travel thing, this is probably pretty obvious to a lot of people, but check in online. And then also on top of that, if you're going for only a couple of days, carry a backpack and a carry-on, like a small carry-on. And don't check all your luggage, unless you have to. But if you don't have to check it, you can skip a huge line. It's a lot easier not checking your luggage. And then on top of that, you don't have to go to baggage claims, you have to worry about them throwing stuff and breaking things in your suitcase. So it's a lot easier all around. To not worry about those things. Carry on some goose, big backpack, you're good. All right, we are back officially on the road, heading from Nashville to Chicago. And uh, it was really good to go home, even just for a, a night, just getting to crash back at the house, see my daughter, see my wife pretty awesome so it's good and my dog crow sheesh so just get a little recharge i feel better i was so freaking tired man whenever i first left for boston my flight was supposed to leave at five o'clock in the morning so i didn't sleep the entire time until the night after pax east it's the first time i actually went to sleep it had been a really long day and so finally being able to sleep, it's been pretty awesome. So yeah, now I am flying back into Chicago. I got a lot of really cool people we're about to be meeting, which I'm very excited about that. Gonna see who all I can meet and see what all I can end up getting into. But either way, so let's go get on a plane. Hopefully we got time to make it there. I just had the absolute greatest person at the gate. She was the sweetest gate person I've ever met. And whoever you are working for American at freaking gate 16 C, I think, you're freaking amazing. Keep it up on me. Kind of cool actually because we've been here before and now I seem to remember where we're at. So I actually know where I'm going now because I've been here before. I never came to the Hilton but I did have to go this way to get me down. So whenever I took the CTA at the August D concert, I actually had to come down the same way to get to the train to get to the city from here. It's like the same way that we took on our other travel vlog for August D. So if you guys go back and watch that, we're taking actually that same path. Whoa. 
Boom. We are in the hotel, homies. Really right at the airport, which is awesome because two things. First, I'm really not going to be here very much except for sleeping. I have a really early flight out in the morning and I need to get from here right now into town. So it's going to be a very quick stay here. I'm literally just going to sleep here and I need a place to put my back. So thank you massive to Jamin for helping us out with hotel prices. You're freaking awesome. Thank you so freaking much. I just wanted you to note that I appreciate the crap out of you and you're an amazing person. We're going to be putting our bags down getting on the train, getting into downtown, and then going from here to meet up with a lot of people for the auto concert. So let's do this. Listen, I'm doing a voiceover just to let y'all know this is the best damn ramen in America. Okay, so we're coming up on the auto venue right now. And uh, pretty stoked. Actually, there's other content creators that I know that are going to be here as well too. So I'm really excited about that. But this is the venue. Just kind of pops up out of nowhere, doesn't it? Okay, so we just met. We're officially, I don't even know how far away we are from the venue. This is a massive, yeah, this is awesome insane. line, dude. Okay, so start to finish from the very starting of this line to the very ending of this line. This video actually took me six and a half minutes of power walking to film this entire thing. This is actually sped up to eight times the speed, which is freaking nuts. But this line was impressive and I love seeing how many people showed up for auto here. It was nuts. So, where did you hear about auto? Um, I was scrolling through YouTube and I looked at the in my subscription list, I saw like the country roll thing pop and I was like, yo, they yeah. have a concert, so like, a lot of <laughs> Yeah, heck yeah. Where are you from? Canada. Canada? Yeah. No way, <laughs> yes! Okay, there you go. Yeah. Started off strong, dude. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, is there a certain song that you're looking forward to? Uh, I think a new song. Like, the very new song to be released called Value? Or Value. the new Value. I think yeah. that's what it's called, yeah. You know what? I'm giving vibes. That's one of my favorite songs right now as well, too. I've been playing that one like so much recently. Oh, <laughs> nice. Where are you from? New York. All from New York? Very cool. Did y'all go to the New York concert? Yes! Heck yes! So it's gonna be fun. So random link as soon as here. Whoop boom! <laughs> yes! Dude, I was passing through and uh, I saw this guy wandering around the block. I was actually trying to sell a pigeon that I found on the street, and then he was like, wait, is that Sean? Yes. Dude, but it's freaking awesome to meet you out here, oh, yeah. seriously. And finally, the worlds have collided. We've met. Oh, we are, yeah. We are together now. Nobody can stop us. Oh, I guess. <laughs> I think I'm going to find some food. I think you might find food. I don't know what's going to happen. It's yeah. food. Yeah. Hell yeah. You can't bounce somewhere in the line. Yes, it's a massive place. Basically, it's as far as the eye can see, that way. So it goes down around the bottom. Yeah, it's freaking wild. Oh shit, sure thought. So what did you think? <laughs> Do you like it? That was amazing. And also we got that freaking cow control cream and she freaking crushed. She crushed. We got like three people from the bro. It was amazing. Okay, so a little bit of context before we actually get into the video that y'all are about to be seeing. Right before this, we just left the auto concert. And we left here to go meet with a viewer of mine, Joyce and her husband, and it was freaking awesome. It was just a place for us to kind of like regroup after the show so we go here and uh 
essentially we got kicked out of a club so this next scene this is us right after getting kicked out of the club i don't know why i didn't film that part it would have been hilarious to put in here next time i promise you i will film us getting kicked out of a club but either way enjoy it's really believe it or not this is andy and me in the <laughs> can i narrate this yeah 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 okay so I want to be real with you because I'm a real musician He's and act, real I'm an actual jazz musician. Like I support us in all 100%. Heck yes. Uh, we were at Mezzo Piano Dynamic the entire show. Unfortunately, we were met with a pretty hostile. Uh, this place. Well, hold on, hold on. Before, <laughs> before we go there, unfortunately, we were met with a pretty hostile demeanor from She's the a uh, little hostile. From not even from her, from the uh, bouncer oh, that the bouncer, initially sure. met us. Here's yeah, her, for sure. Here's her yeah. Yeah. yeah, we had the last table on the corner. And then we were met with extreme hostility. And uh, it was pretty much a fucking clown show from the end of that. Yeah. Uh, I actually talked to the jazz guitarist that was on featured on stage. Cool guy, fucking great yeah, repertoire. Yeah, legit. Dude is playing, legit musician. Yeah. Uh, but unfortunately, the people in the club, uh, pretty weird shit, to be honest. Like, I know, I pretty was like, wild. what happened? What's they don't know the crowd right that they're talking to. That's totally fine. And that's that's where we're at. So it is what it is, bro. Uh, YouTube will hear about it. It's all good. So it's good to go. How you going, man? I, 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 so, well. Uh, I've never been kicked out. Well, I've been kicked out of a strip club. I got kicked out of a strip club one time, unrelated, but it was wild to do it. I've never been kicked out. We got kicked out of a strip club. First time meeting each other, and we get kicked out of a club Second time hanging out. First time meeting, we got kicked out of a club together. We don't even. Yes. Okay, so we made it back from the concert and thank you very much, Joyce, for driving me back here. I don't even know if trains were still running or not in Chicago, but seriously, thank you. That concert was so good. It was insane how amazing she was here. Just saw her in New York. She did really good, but I feel like here she upgraded like insanely good. It was the best vocal performance that I've seen from a person live. It was so freaking good, man. She was so active. I loved how much extra energy she put into her notes. It was so well done, man. Freaking loved it. Anyways, thank you all very much. I'm gonna do a final thoughts video whenever I actually have some time to think about this, but it was so fun. That was such a good concert. Okay, so final thoughts. Auto crushed in New York. She did a really, really good job there, but I could tell that she was kind of nervous maybe, or maybe some jet lag or something like that was going on. The Chicago concert was an insane, insane difference to me. From a vocal standpoint, you could hear so many different things that she was doing. She was like putting more into every note that she sang. She screamed like more in each note. She was dancing more. You could tell that the whole band was just really feeling it that night. On top of that, the crowd in Chicago was just wild, man. It was like 5,000 plus people in attendance, I think, that night. There was pizza chants. There was like so many crazy, funny, random things that were happening. I stayed up front for most of the concert. I think it was like three people away from the front row. We had a uh, crowd queen is what we ended up dubbing her. May, you're freaking awesome. It was amazing meeting you. I ended up walking back from there and just kind of getting a feel of the rest of the room and just hearing how it sounded other places, being able to see the crowd from different areas. I really really loved the crowd in chicago it was so fun man everybody was moving and all the way in the back of the crowd even like behind pillars that really couldn't even see the stage people were singing and dancing and just like really enjoying it you could tell that there are a lot of diehard auto fans in america and that made me so freaking happy to see that seeing like music from all the way over in japan coming here and just being so present and having such a fan base here so it makes me really happy and really enthusiastic about the future of music here if y'all came to any of the other auto concerts if you were in new york if you were in chicago if you're in la or if you're in the austin concert please comment below let us know your thoughts on that as well too i want to give a huge shout out to our patreons for helping make this all happen thank you very much to dragonfly for helping us out with travel thank you very much jamin for the freaking hookup at hilton thank you nick for the hotel in new york i seriously could not have done this without all of y'all's help it is a communal effort and i really appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart if you guys want to hop on our patreon and help further support future travel vlogs there is a link to our patreon in the description below spread some positivity out there be kind to each other and i will catch you next time freaking toodles